can't even pronounce half of them. You guys want to talk about me getting tongue twisted. It's like some of them are really like, okay, did I pronounce that right? Sometimes I gotta double check to make sure that I'm pronouncing the, the procedure right. But not knowing what that procedure is is key. It really is. And when you start to see, I've had students that have actually come into this class and I'm not sure how they were able to register, but they hadn't had the medical terminology or human body yet. And they're like getting up in the middle of the class, like I'm in the wrong class. Like I can't, I can't understand this. So it is, um, it is definitely, we're going to take it in small chunks. I'm going to explain everything the best that I, I possibly can kind of, you know, simplify the whole process. But, I mean, everyone was coding pretty much 100% tonight. Think of it that way. You know, they want coders to be 95 to 100% accurate. You all did awesome. <laughs> I also thought most of the class would have taken the ICD coding. And I saw that only a third did. No, maybe a third did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're two totally different classification systems. And, uh, you know, uh, as we work our way through, you know, the ICD students that have had that class will be able to tell you, oh yeah, it's different. So, I mean, there are some similarities, but there are differences too. So, you can take one without the other. Any questions? Good? Have a good week! Oh, I was like, <laughs> like, I hope. Oh, I'm sorry. I stepped in. No, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> I don't even know if it was recording the whole time.